are doing a thermometric titration and if we look at the setup in front of me, you can see that we do have a burette like what we are used to uh, using in a titration. However, unlike an acid alkali uh, typical titration where we use an indicator, here we are not using a pipette. Right? So we just have a burette and a styrofoam cup with, uh, which is stabilized with a beaker. Okay, and instead of an indicator, because we are not using indicator in a thermometric titration, okay, we are monitoring the change in temperature over the course of the reaction. Thus, we will be using the thermometer okay, to actually monitor this change in temperature. Okay, so we have already filled up the styrofoam cup with the, with the alkali and the acid in the burette, okay, which is rinsed and filled up in the usual procedure. Right, so now that we are about to start, okay, we will begin by taking the initial temperature of the alkali in the in the siphon cup. Okay, and after doing that, okay, we have already filled our burette, and in this case, I filled it to the ten cm cube marking. And so we'll be adding usually in about 5 cm cube intervals, 5 cm cube phase volumes. Okay, so you, as you can see, I added 5 cm cube all at once, and then I stir with the thermometer to ensure that it's evenly distributed. And then I measure the temperature with the thermometer again to see if there is any change in temperature. And then I will record the highest temperature that is reached before quickly adding another 5 cm cube. Okay, and then we will repeat this procedure until there is a constant temperature that is reached, meaning that the, temp the reaction has actually stopped and there is no further increase in temperature.